Hi all, I'm Age and welcome to Liquid Earth. In the last episode, we showed you all around the basic panel in Lightroom Classic CC. In this episode, we'll show you the crop tool. The crop tool is in the develop menu and you can press this button here for your crop tool. If you're in the library module or the develop module, there is a shortcut key and that's R on your keyboard. That will take you directly to the develop module and select the crop tool. First you'll notice that we have a crop overlay around the outside and I've got a rule of thirds grid showing in the centre. There's handles on the outside that you can simply drag to move your crop and then you can select anywhere in the centre and drag your image to move it within the frame. Now I have a wonky horizon here so if you highlight on the edge and move over just a little bit You'll notice your cursor changes and you can rotate the image here. Alternatively, you have this angle tool that you can press and you can click and drag a line across your horizon and it's going to automatically straighten that image for you. There are aspect ratios built in. If you click here, you've got some options. So if I wanted a five by seven, for instance, I could choose that. Or you could create a custom one if you enter the custom dimensions here. You can put the aspect ratio and press OK and then you'll notice them at the bottom here. Any custom ones that you've entered and you want to choose from. Let's stick with the as shot here. Let's move this crop down a little bit. Now at the moment I'm constrained when I move any of these handles. To the aspect ratio but if you press here you can unlock and now you're able to move outside of the aspect ratio or you can press the shortcut key a if i press it once i'm constrained again and if i press it again i'm back to unrestrained let's go back to original now constrained let's move my crop area to about here place it on the rule of thirds roughly now notice that I have the rule of thirds grid open. You can set that by going to tools and then tool overlay and always show means my rule of thirds is always on. I can auto show, which means when I drag, then the rule of thirds shows and when I release, the rule of thirds disappears. You can also never show if you wish. Lightroom has a set of overlays for you. If you go to the crop guide overlay under tools, you'll notice that there's some other options here and there's some different overlays that you can choose from. Now pressing O on your keyboard will cycle through all of these crop overlays. And if we cycle through to this aspect ratios under tools and back into our crop guide overlay, you can choose which aspect ratios to show on the image. Here you have all of the options. And if you do want to show any more or less, just select or deselect these options here. And now whilst you're cycling through, pressing the O key, when you get to your crop overlay, it's remembered that you've added the one-on-one -on -one there. And if you just want the crop overlay aspect ratios, then it's now selected here. And that will stay selected even when you press enter and go to another image. Press the crop overlay here. Now I keep mine on the rule of thirds by default. Again, you can just press the O key to cycle through them. And as a final tip, if you're running through a series of images and you want to apply a similar crop, so for this one, for instance, let's put a portrait crop on here and I want to run to my next one, you don't have to press enter, just click on the next image and then you're already in your crop panel, ready to go. Great for wedding photography. If you have a series of images where you just want to quickly crop them all to roughly the right shape. And when you finish, then you just press enter on your keyboard and the image is cropped. It's completely non-destructive because if you go back into your crop tool, you can see you can still retrieve all of the information and reset your crop. 
Well, that's it for this episode, all about the crop tool. In the next episode, we're going to talk about the spot removal tool here, which gives you a clone and a hill spot removal. There's a link on the screen and in the information below. Thanks again for watching guys, really appreciate it. If that was helpful to you, then give me a thumbs up, really appreciate it. And if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing. I'll post these every single week. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.